and 7,000 chemicals. Hundreds are toxic and about 70 can cause cancer. Cigarette smoke, according to experts, can cause serious health problems, numerous diseases and even in severe cases, death. Much progress has been made globally to fight tobacco epidemic in the world. For the first time since the coming into force, of the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, an estimated 2.3 million billion people have been covered by at least one tobacco control measure. But much more needs to be done in several areas to curb the growing global tobacco epidemic. Cessation can significantly reduce the risks of suffering from smoke-related diseases. Tuberculosis dependence is a chronic condition that often requires repeated intervention, but effective treatments and helpful resources exist, and smokers can and do quit. We have to understand that um, tobacco itself as an addiction, it has both the cognitive aspect, the chemical or the physical aspect, and also the behavioral aspect. Thereby, we, for the participants today, we'll actually train them so that they understand that the people who are using tobacco, it's not like they're trying not to stop. It is a problem, and there are ways that you can actually help them manage this kind of problem. Interacting with smokers will tell you that most of them actually do know the health impact of smoking, but find it very hard to quit. Why is that? Uh, because, like, let's look at the chemical aspect. The brain gets tuned. Then the neurotrans uh, neurotransmitters in the brain, they become tuned to accepting the nicotine. Thereby, when you don't smoke, you actually have withdrawals. So you'll find some people, they will not bleed. Others, uh, they have headaches. Others, nausea. So you feel very bad that when you take your next puff of the tobacco, or you just take your, um, if it is a paste, you feel that you feel better. So for these people, it is easier for them to keep on using their tobacco compared to not using the tobacco. As for participants, they are looking forward to many things paramount among them. I'm expecting that all the participants will gain enough knowledge and skills about tobacco cessation. Mm -hmm. And I'm also expecting when we go back mm -hmm. to at least help the communities, mm -hmm. those who are not here, mm -hmm. to know the dangers of tobacco use mm -hmm. and also to help people cease mm -hmm. tobacco use. Tobacco use remains the leading cause of preventable death in the world. Reducing tobacco use is a winnable battle with known effective strategies for success, one which can be cessation with support methods generally tuned to address both nicotine addiction and nicotine withdrawal symptoms. Yes, it can be done. For GRTS News, I am Dekumadema. Custody after being arrested by operatives of the National Drug Enforcement Agency at different locations for being in possession of suspected cannabis, cocaine, and heroin. Umijai tells us more. The ladies in the NDEA net after being arrested with suspected cannabis, heroin, and cocaine. These two accused persons were arrested by personnel of the National Drug Enforcement Agency stationed at the Sibanor on the 5th of December 2013 at a place called FAS in Funyi Bondali, West Coast region, with 17 big bundles of cannabis. According to NDEA officials, the two accused were found on a motorbike transporting the cannabis. These other accused persons were also arrested by some undercover NDEA operatives along the Banjul Beach in separate operations. These men were arrested with 54 wraps of suspected heroin at Lakhtar Kunda Sabiji. All these accused persons arrested by NDEA personnel from different locations are charged with drug trafficking, contrary to Section 43 of the Drug Control Act. Um, there are more than three to five accused persons who were arrested with drugs and they were arrested at different locations. Um, you can see three Nigerians were arrested who conspired themselves to deal in uh, suspected cocaine. The crackdown on drugs remains a serious task as the government continues to maintain zero tolerance on drug trafficking. To this effect, NDEA officials emphasize that ignorance of the law will not be an excuse. The PRO of the NDEA, who also doubles as the OC prosecutions, outlined that his office together with other security agencies are always on the move to see that the country is rid of drug trafficking. He also enjoined the general public, particularly the youth, to stay away from drugs. I will advise the public to stay away from drugs because um, the government has done all it can 
to make sure the Gambia is a drug-free state. Uh, well, we will, NDA will continue to maintain their stance in the fight against drug. This is a peaceful country. We will not allow anybody to jeopardize with the peace and security of this country. So we advise the general public. My office, that is the office of the public relations office, is continuing and we are we are, we, are, we are visiting schools, community, in the sensitization of drugs. So we, 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 we definitely thank the general public for their cooperation because definitely there are some genuine Gambians who are helping in the fight against drugs. Meanwhile, the accused persons will remain under custody whilst they await trial. Uminjai, GRDS. 13 students recently graduated with master's, bachelor's and postgraduate diploma degrees from the University of the Gambia. The group completed studies on a range of disciplines courtesy of the Amnity University in India through the Pan-African e-network project. Buba Sise reports. South Africa. This is the second batch of Gambians numbering 13 who bag masters, bachelors, and postgraduate diplomas in French, business management, and finance and investment analysis. The University of the Gambia has been entrusted with the responsibility to implement the tele-education part of the project. This distant learning is as relevant and qualitative as the face-to-face -face learning. The Deputy Vice Chancellor of the University of the Gambia explains. Gambia is very, very proud to be associated with this project. It is also very proud to be fulfilling its mission and vision because we have been tasked to avail opportunities to get excellent education, whether it is undergraduate or postgraduate in this country, and we are doing that. Dr. Sylvie Colley, the head of French department at the University of the Gambia, who also doubles as a course instructor, gave the genesis of the project. Dr. Kwali commended the students for their dedication and discipline they demonstrated during the course of the program. She equally thanked the Indian government and the government of the Gambia for this partnership. This convocation ceremony went simultaneously with the Amity University's own in India. The Indian Honorary Council to the Gambia Ram Mohan reaffirms his country's continued support and collaboration in the promotion of education for Gambian youth. He challenged the graduates to utilize the knowledge gained in their respective places of work for the socio-economic advancement of the country. Most of you, if not all, did your first degree from the University of the Gambia, isn't it? And now you are, you've earned an MBA, an MBA that is as good as an MBA anywhere in the world or a postgraduate diploma for some of you who have not um, gone through the MBA your postgraduate diploma is as good as any postgraduate diploma from any university so we are very proud of your accomplishment we hope that others out there will uh, follow suit and come to the University of the Gambia and embark on a journey for uh, a postgraduate degree some of the graduates could not suppress their happiness and appreciation to this great day. Some of them have this to say. I am very happy that I have completed my program. It was not easy at all, but I am very happy. I am thanking our coordinator, Dr. Sylvia, the president of the Republic of the Gambia, and my fellow graduates. This is a great day in my life and in the lives of my colleagues. It's a life-changing experience, and we want to thank Allah for everything. We want to thank the Gambia government, the people of this country, the University of the Gambia, Amity University of India, the Pan-African establishment, and our families for the support. It is argued that, be it distant learning or face-to-face -face learning, the issue of quality is no longer the problem, as technology makes learning accessible. This is something that should be jealously guarded by all and sundry. Buba SMCC, GRTS. Two of Gambia's powerhouses in the telecommunication and energy industries, Gamsel and Nawek respectively, have jointly launched a cash power Porsche scratch card system with the use of Gamsel Network, the latest cash power vending project 
product will now be a, will now enable sorry uh, now customers to buy cash power using Gamsel scratch cards from 50, 100 and 500 dollars and beyond. Samuel Bah reports.